everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. Here at the Cove, we do budgeting, plan with me's, minimal planning, all that great stuff. If that's something that you'll be interested in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, you guys, so today we're going to be doing our April budget. And also, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do my um, March kind of breakdown or close out as well um let's flip in and see what we got so first let's start with our um kind of close out march close out we ended up we said we were going to make 2500 in hair we ended up making three thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars nails we said we would do 100 we ended up making 60 shopify um we said we would do 50 we ended up making um that's shipping so here's the thing gross sales were 310 dollars and 85 cent net sales let me pull this up so you can see excuse my broken nail but net sales ended up being 272 dollars and 35 cent so let me move this these are my little notes and reminders. $272.35 for Shopify. And I think we did two releases this month. I'm trying to stick with two releases. And then miscellaneous, I put $2,000, which would have been our, um, well, my um, tax income. It was more than that. I just didn't add that in there, the correct amount. But we still didn't do too bad. Let's see how much... I know that with taxes, I had an income of over 7000 so I'm not even going to calculate that. Car note got paid. Car insurance got paid. T-Mobile, they did get almost 500 out of me because they got 284 times 2 out of me. And my bill is down to zero finally. So now my next bill is like 216 So I know how much my bill is going to be. So I'm going to be kind of like putting that money aside and try to pay it on time to avoid late fees. And I will dip into my savings to do so. I've, I've just decided my savings is going to kind of help me when things are a little, you know, shaky. Also, we pay that in full. That's the PIF here. Amazon got their money, cloth and paper. And Shopify, I said 70 74 That was my bill. We paid that. Walmart, um, I did. I gave Walmart 100 I ended up owing $96. I really could have paid Walmart off. I didn't, but I just paid a bill. So now I only owe like $51 to Walmart. And then we're done with Walmart, okay? Credit one, they got 100 um, Canva, they got their money. Apple got their money. Capital One, I ended up giving them like 175 And then Citibank got 100 Barclays got 200 Wayfair got 100 Insta Inc. got their money. And Booth Rent, I ended up paying like 1000 And every credit card either got paid off, which is more, which is also got paid off. So also got more than 50 Or it was just paid in full, or they got 100 or more. Over here to the emergency, my goal was to do a thousand. I did seven hundred. I've taken out two hundred from the emergency fund to um, get my PO box back because it expired because I just didn't have it. So I just took two hundred out of there instead of putting it on a credit card, which I normally do. But I didn't want to run any of my credit cards back up. Um, also, my credit score went up like forty five points. Um, in like 10 on one and 45 on the other. Um, savings is, I was gonna put five, but that's part of emergency fund. Let's see what else we got going over here. I didn't invest, which I plan to do a week ahead. I'm really a month ahead. Um, retirement, I didn't do that. I should have referred to this list. A firm, I owed like $136, so I paid that in full. And Bentley, Bentley did get about 100. He got probably more than 150 for me because he got groomed and he got his shots. So March, we, we, we knocked a lot of things out. I'm so excited about that because now I am pretty much technically a month ahead on a lot of my bills. So let's hop over into April. So we're going to do April. I'm going to whip out my April calendar here for my A6. Uh, and I also have already 
This is my A6. I do bills in here, doctor's appointments, um, birthdays, all that great stuff. And I do it as well. This is April in my half letter. I kind of do the same thing here, but I do more of my goal setting here. So I already filled this out off camera. So that's something that I don't have to like bore you guys with. And I don't normally decorate, but I just feel like decorating. It's my birthday month. So also it's my sister's birthday month. So we're in hot pink. And over here are our goals, bills. And my first of the month, which I really wanted to get down, is down. I don't have a lot of first of the month bills. So I'm so proud of myself for being responsible, being an adult, paying those bills off. So I'm going to put this here so I can keep track of what we got going. So we're in uh, April. Oh, ready. All right. So if you are new here, hello, I'm Yoshida, and I'm a self-employed hairstylist, nail technician, and I run a Shopify shop with printables and planner stickers and all that great stuff. And that's it. And that's my income. So hair is the first thing I put down because that is my main source of income. So what I've done, because every week I put down $750 or $700 as my income. I, and then some weeks, about one or two weeks, it may be more. So very seldom is it less. So unless I'm out sick or something. So we've been running about $750. Um, so I'm going to stick with the $750. And that gave me $3,000. I think I got it right here, 3000 So we're going to put 3000 down. And then after looking at last month where we came in at 3812 I think 3000 is a great um, lower number. <clears throat> so next up we have nails. Um, oh, Y'all, I'm slacking the nails, but I keep getting compliments. I'm missing one nail, but um, keep getting compliments. I just have to say yes to the people, okay? But I'm just going to put 60 I'll end up with probably two clients this month. And then Norris Cove, I just put NC for Norris Cove. I kind of have some things I'm working on. I just don't know if they'll be ready for the month of April. Um, also, I'm doing some free giveaways in my group for the month of April for my birthday. I'm doing um, some free downloads, things like that. So hop on over and join. And who knows, sometimes I may do some free downloads on my website. So that may generate some income. So I'm just gonna give Shopify 200 again. I'm gonna up them this month. And so we have 32.60 as our total. Now let's get into bills on the first. I don't necessarily have to start on the first, but we have CMP. That's $38. We have Amazon. Kind of cross the line. Now, Amazon has gone up, so I'm going to put $14.77. Then we have Community Bank. That's due on the second. And Community, I gave them $50. I've already paid them. Walmart is on the fourth, and I paid them. And I gave them $50. Okay. So, Shopify... 59.31 last I looked and I'm so excited because y'all know when Shopify comes out I'm not prepared I'm like why wow, they're always coming out this will to come out on the eighth so now I notice they're on the third and fourth the money is already in that particular account for them to take it out so definitely excited about that uh Canva Canva comes out on the seventh Normally, I list this in the order of um, importance to me, but being that I'm looking at my calendar, I just decided to do it this way. Instead of trying to go off of my memory, which is a little shaky, um, card note number one is due on the 11th. And that's 181.63, I think. And then I'm gonna, since I'm here, I'm gonna put card note number two, 63, okay. And Capital One is due on the 15th. And I really don't owe anything on Capital One because I've paid, already paid for the 15th, but I kinda wanna stay a month ahead. I'm gonna put 50, but I may do less, more, you know, whatever. 
um, 17th, Citibank. Citibank and Barclays are my biggest credit cards, the ones, and they don't have the highest interest, I believe, but um, I got those around the time my credit was like decent. So I definitely want to give them like a hundred. Barclays, Barclays, I really need to give them like 250. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna put 200 for them as well, because I definitely wanna knock this out. Barclays is still on the 18th. That's just a guesstimate. Again, they may not, they may or may not get it. Um, at card number two, on the 21st, we have T-Mobile. And I looked, it was 216, like 83. Let me put that here. Um, PayPal is due on the 25th. And PayPal may be paid up, but I'm going to give them, I looked at them, so I'm going to give them 50. And you guys, I have a new bill, which I'm kind of excited about. I know y'all like, why are you excited about a bill? But um, since I've paid off some of my credit cards, I told my husband, I, you know, I, I want to help. So he's giving me the Netflix bill. <laughs> I'm excited. I need to put that down. Y'all, I know some people like, but you don't have to pay bills, you know, but I want to pay. I, I just never live like that. So, and I'm going to put 20 because I know Netflix has gone up. It's something minor, but it just makes my day. Car insurance. And also, you guys, um, I'll have a cash stuffing coming up. I saved my tips this week. I'm trying not to spend them, but I need change. So... I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. Okay, we have GoDaddy. Let's see, car insurance would be 206. It's some change, but we don't need to add that. And then we have GoDaddy, our last bill of the month. And that is $7.41. All right. I'm gonna snap these back in my A6, and then we're gonna get to calculating. We have $1,439.35. Super. This is, y'all know how much this has gone down? Like, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do with myself. So, let's put this total. I'm going to have to use a lighter green, I think. I don't know which one of these greens did I use. That one's done. It doesn't matter. Let's try this. My bills have gone down tremendously. Fourteen thirty-nine thirty-five. Awesome. 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 I remember months of paying two thousand and not and barely making two thousand. So this is cool. And that's with me giving Barclays two hundred. Then that's extra. My bill is only 71, but giving them 200, um, no, Citibank is only 71. That's giving Citibank 100, Barclays 200, which I think they're around, no, no, I'm sorry. Barclays, Citibank is $35, so I'm going to give them an extra $70, and Barclays is $71, so there we get an extra $130, so cool. And my Netflix, my new bill. Boop. So we should have, let's see. I don't know which one it is. And I want to start contributing to the savings. Let's subtract 32. That leaves 1820. So 182065 is our remaining. So well, let me y'all, this is gonna be long. 
but this is what I want to do. I want to develop with, I put the same amount in every month towards my sinking funds, but it's hard for me because I am self-employed. I just need to pick a week when it's a good week to do that. So that's something that I'm going to work on. You know, also I was thinking yesterday, I was like, you know, it has taken me pretty much years. I'm thinking in the past three years since I've been budgeting, really honing in on my, but I've always budgeted, but since I've really taken it more serious besides just my notebook or whatever, um, it's taken me a very long time to kind of finally get the hang of things. And I just, my message to you guys is don't give up. Each month is not going to be perfect. Um, it's going to take a while. You just don't get it overnight. You're not going to just have the perfect budget. You're not going to be debt free overnight. It didn't take you. You didn't get into debt overnight. You know, you didn't develop a system overnight and that's something I'm developing is a budgeting system I've been um, let me show you I know it's a little off topic well it ain't off topic but it's a little off but I'm um, here in my finance section this is I keep I keep um, looking at my debt I look at how much I spend this is my spending tracker um, I had a color code for it, but now I know it all automatically See here, I made this 2022, and all of this is March. This is what I did in March. I spent a lot of money in March, but this is all bills, okay? You'll see some bills throughout you know, over here, but you have to develop a system, and a system is of me keeping track of my money. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Last week, I spent some money. I didn't write it down, so I'm trying to get back on track of writing my money down. Um, let me show you something. Um, and I've talked about this in a video, but red is food. This is planner stuff. This is all this purple here is planner stuff you need. Um, but with an overview, I realized I, here's a lot of my money went to planner stuff. Um, here's miscellaneous. Um, red is food. A lot of money went to food. Food. So when I see that red, I know, okay, your sheep is time to start cooking or whatever. So I just say all that to say that you're not going to get budgeting right off the hand, especially if you were never taught. Some people were raised to spend their money correctly. Some people were raised to budget and finance. I was not. So it's something when you're teaching yourself and you got to learn from others in the, your adulthood, it's not going to happen overnight. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just keep popping right back on. Keep doing your best. And I promise you, you'll feel better when you start to get some rest because your bills are paid. You'll start to feel better. Um, when you start seeing that progress. So, like I tell y'all, I really wanted to pay for that um, P.O. box with my credit card, but I was like, I worked too hard to pay that down. Yeah, I can go back and put money on it, but I just felt like I have still been paying a bill. So it was just better for me just take it out of my savings and not go in debt and pay interest on a dang on P.O. box. Plus I was late, so I had some fees there. So yeah. So I pretty much, back to reality, come on, your sheet to bring it together. Um, I have 18, 20 left, okay? So I'm not gonna fill this out yet, but what I will do, because I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because it just could not happen. And as I told y'all before, I'm not a zero-based budgeter as much as I'd like to be, um, I'm just not. So I'm gonna leave this, but I definitely wanna give 100 to savings savings yet to get a hundred and then if i put a hundred that would leave me with a six hundred dollar balance there um i don't know even know the account number to there um there are some new categories that i want to do in my sinking fund so i should have those listed when we do the budget closeout i should have all that listed again like i said i want to have a certain amount put towards um my sinking funds and the amount that i can do and that way that'll keep me on track so this is it so you guys have you done your monthly budget um how's your month coming along so far i know it's just april but let's get on the good foot Let's try to stay ahead for 2022 so that we can go into 2023, if not debt-free, almost debt-free. Um, I want to pay somebody extra. It'll come to me. It may be Barclays, but we'll see. So this is it, you guys. This is my weekly, I mean, excuse me, my monthly budget. 
my closeout for March. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this from me, please do me a favor. Leave me a message in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.